Hey everyone, I'm going to be going over lesson 19 where we're going to be converting our measurements. Um, today our problems that we had were something as similar. Let me quickly set up my paper. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is so I can check. So there we are. So today we are going from a small unit to a big unit. And my example for that down here, it's going to be something like inches to feet. Well, I know that in one foot, we have 12 inches. Well, then one inch is one twelfth of a foot. Because, and I'll show you right now, it's because, you know, we're counting it up as a measurement and we have 12 inches, but we only have one out of the 12. So that's one out of 12 feet. Our first problem will be nine inches to a foot. So I wrote my problem here. Now I'm going to rewrite it on this side. So I'm going to write nine inches equals blank feet or foot. Now, now that I've rewrote my problem, I'm going to go with my next step, which will be in blue. And what's important to know is that I'm going to start off with a tape diagram. And I'm going to label that a tape diagram as my one foot. And I know in one foot, I have 12 inches. So I should have, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's make a little box here. There we go. So now we have 12 parts, which is equal to 12 inches. But we only have nine inches. So let's count up nine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine right here sorry ten eleven oh there we are miscounted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so now i have 12 parts in my foot um but i only have nine right so this is still my sec, my first step technically, because I'm just drawing my model, and my next step is to I'm going to label. Well, I have nine inches, so I'm putting it in green. I have nine out of twelve feet. Well, then my answer must be that nine inches equal nine twelfths of a foot. That's my answer for that problem. Now, let's go ahead and do another one. Oh, sorry, hold on. I'm using a sketchbook for this. So you saw a little bit of art there. I like that. That, I believe, is one of our kittens. That's Bear or Belle, one of the two. Not drawn by me. I did not draw that. My next problem, um, I have 15 inches to feet. So 15 inches equals blank feet. Well, now, what if I don't want to use the tape diagram like I did in the previous problem right here? What if I don't want to do this? Well, I'll show you how. So my first step is to rewrite my 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 problem here. So I have 15. Now I'm going to have times something. Now when we're going from a small unit such as inches to a bigger unit such as feet, we're going to multiply 15 by 1 over 12. And that's because it usually I ask you, well, if 1 foot equals 
12 inches, then one inch equals one twelfth of a foot. So now we have one twelfth because we're trying to convert these inches to feet. Well, now what we have here is 15 over one. 15 times one is 15. And then one times 12 will give me 12. Now that is what we call an improper fraction. So let's convert this fraction into a mixed number. So I'm going to rewrite that right down here. So here's 15 twelfths. Now I need to find out how many times 12 goes into 15. Well, just by looking at it, I know that it'll go into it one time like that one time. I'm going to start back with blue because now I'm at a fourth step. So 12 goes into 15. I'm going to subtract that from here. 12 times to give me, I have one hole now because I took that hole away from that. So I have three twelfths left. Now I can simplify this if I would like to by three over three, which we leave our whole number alone. It's already a whole number. Now three divided by three is one and 12 divided by three is four. So my answer for this problem is one, one fourth. And I hope, sorry, my notes are, there we go. One, one fourth. And man, my green looks like it's black. So I'll fix that. But that's green. I'll find a new way to do that. Uh, so that's another method on how to do it. You can pause the video at this point to kind of just take this all in. But I'm going to do at least one more problem. One more problem. I'm going to do one more problem with you. Like ones that we've gone over in class. So I'm going to go over 24 ounces to pounds. Now, my next step, you know what? My next step for this one is to, first, I want to figure out the inches to feet. That's easy. We all know that there are 12 inches in one foot. But how many ounces are in a pound? Well, I know that in one pound, this is how you abbreviate pounds, is like that, equals 16 ounces. So in one ounce, I have to have one sixteenth of a pound. So that's key information. So that'll be my second piece for this one. This is my second part. Now my third, sorry, my second step is to put all this information together. So I have 24 ounces. So I have 24 and I'm going to multiply it, not by this, because we're not going from pounds to ounces. We're going ounces two pounds. So 24 times 1 16th will give me 24 16th because 24 times 1 is 24. And then we have really we have 24 over 1 to give us 1 times 16, which gives us 16. Now our next step is to create a mixed number. But I'm going to go ahead and take this number, put it here. 24 sixteenths, and I am going to simplify it first. Maybe that'll make it a little bit easier on us. Now, I know that two will go into both these numbers because they are even. So I'm gonna go ahead and simplify it by two, by two over two. So two over two, which will give me 12 and then eight. Oh, these two are also even. So maybe I can go further with, with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide that by two over two which will give me 12 divided by two is six. Eight divided by two is four. Now, I can convert that even further. We can go further with this, right? So I'm gonna rewrite that because that's still a third step. I'm still simplifying. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that number down here so I can simplify it further. I'm gonna use two over two again. 
6 divided by 2 is 3. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Good job, guys. So now I have 3 over 2. So now I'm going to go back to my fourth step. I'm going to go to my fourth step. I'm going to write down the last thing that I had, which is 3 over 2, to create my improper fraction. Well, I know that I need two, two parts to make a whole. Well, I have three parts over two. So I know that I'm going to take away two away from the three to give me one whole, which will leave me with a half left over. So I have one and a half as my answer. Now, this answer will go here. We have one and one half of a pound from 24 ounces. Now, let me see if there's any other problems that I can probably assist you with. Maybe this time I'm going to go ahead and use the take diagram because we are all very familiar with, with that model. So I am going to go ahead and do four feet two yards. Well, let's write our key information in our first step. Well, I know that in one one yard I have three feet so in one foot I must have one-third of a yard now knowing that information I'm gonna go ahead and draw my tape diagram that's one yard and I have four feet so I'm gonna have one foot in here one foot in here and one foot in here that gives me one whole yard but wait a minute I have four and I only have three feet here this is three feet so I'm going to create a second tape diagram that's my yard one yard and I have one foot here one foot here and one foot here but wait I have three feet that must mean I have one foot left out of my four feet so I have one out of three of these so my next step my last step my third step is writing down my answer I have one hole and then I have one-thirds of a yard so my answer is one one thirds and that is it for lesson 19 i'll upload a second video for lesson 20 which we will be going from a big unit such as yards to a small unit such as feet okay so look for that coming up next it sounds like i'm doing like a like a tv commercial or a news station where i'm like coming up next on ABC News or something. Uh, Mr. Validus gets sponsored by Red Bull. Not really, but it'd be cool. All right. Look forward to the next video, which is lesson 20 tonight at 730.